The Federal Aviation Administration blames a morning nationwide system outage on a damaged file. And that outage snarled air travel, leading to a ground stop at airports all across the country. Travelers were given zero notice. More than 9,000 flights were delayed, more than 1,000 canceled. There's reporting tonight that an error occurred during routine maintenance of an air travel system, but the FAA has not confirmed that. Fox 4's Blake Hansen live at Dallas Left Field with an update. Blake. Yeah, Heather and Steve, around 10,000 delays, 1,300 cancellations, according to FlightAware. And tonight we are getting some information as to how an outage like this could happen. We just got a notification that it's been delayed and um, the FFA is the system's down. The hiccup that snarled air travel nationwide Wednesday was reportedly all due to an issue with a digital file. The Federal Aviation Administration announcing our preliminary work has traced the outage to a damaged database file. The FAA has not said how the file was damaged, but ABC News is reporting a source saying an engineer made a mistake during routine maintenance. We all want to be back home. Uh, we all have to get to work, etc. So just be patient. The system that went down is known as NOTAM or Notice to Air Missions. It relays critical information to pilots and dispatchers. Brent Bowen is a retired aeronautical science professor. For example, if a runway closes overnight due to, say, severe icing and the airport can't get it back open, they put one of these notices into the system so that any flight plan filed to that airport would be notified that this runway is not available due to this condition. Bowen expects the ripple effect from Wednesday's outage to last for days. The failure is focusing attention on the Department of Transportation and the FAA. Texas Senator Ted Cruz saying in a statement, the administration needs to explain to Congress what happened and Congress should enact reforms in this year's FAA reauthorization legislation. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Yeah, when there's a problem with uh, a government system, we're going to own it, we're going to find it, and we're going to fix it. Bowen notes this is not a new issue for the FAA. Anticipate Congress will be looking at this because it, it reminds us of many times over you know, the last 50 years that the FAA has failed in technology. The FAA is one federal agency that's known to be the slowest in putting out technology. We expect to learn much more if and when congressional investigations into the matter get underway, especially with Republicans taking control of the House.